Hello everyone and welcome back to PP Craft. I'm sorry this episode took long to get out to you, but I was traveling and it wasn't really easy to record, but I still did work a little on the base in the area and everything. You just saw that time lapse. It took much longer than I'm willing to admit. Elytra finding and entity looting is not easy. It takes a lot, a lot, a lot, and a lot of blocks. But I did it after two end cities, the third one did have an elytra finally. And I got myself an elytra, but it was worth it in the end because elytras are amazing. I'm gonna use this to get around everywhere, literally everywhere. And I got myself a wolf. In the previous clip you might have seen that I, I tamed a wolf and stuff. It's amazing, it's pretty anticlimactic but it's amazing nonetheless. And I'm happy that I got a wolf for myself. So you see this area, right? This whole thing that I terraformed, it took me like 10 hours to terraform totally. And without a beacon that was, that's why. And I ended up building a massive iron farm on it. it. Took me way too long to get the villagers in there. I mean, it's not even a joke, it was just sad at how long it took me. So many minecart and rails, it was, I had to borrow rails. I have this little cute bubble elevator system. And it's producing a lot of iron, so quite happy with that. Last episode, or the episode before that, or episode 2, I can't remember, I built a mine entrance. Well, it wasn't really a mine entrance, it was just, a, it was just an excuse to, to waste time on the episode. But this one looks far, far, far better. It's cute, tiny, and it's just amazing. Uh, and it's a bubble elevator again. I really like these things, they're just amazing to get around. Mine, own base, get it? Because it's because it's mine, and it's mine, and it's, it's, and it's, it's mine, yeah. So while I was in city looting, I did get a lot of shulker boxes as well. Over here, I have some in here, over here as well. So I was thinking, you know, maybe I shouldn't build a house over here. Maybe I should like find another island to build a house, and then I, and then I ended up on this island, but this one's very, very small. But then I realized, I don't really need it massive house. I don't even need a house. So I mean, why, why make a house? Why go through all the trouble? So maybe what I'm thinking is I might just build a storage silo over there. You know, one of those rounded ones. Yeah, maybe a massive storage silo over here. Yeah, maybe I could just terraform this. This won't take long to terraform. I can just bring it down to sea level and just terraform. So that could work for a storage silo, maybe an order sorter even in the future. But what I'm thinking in the long term is to build a massive house covering all this landmass. You see this all the way from here, that 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 sky this this coastline over here, going around here and around here and going around here too. All the way. Actually maybe not that, yeah. Yeah, you know whatever land you see that's connected, basically in that huge area that I just circled. Yeah, I want to bring that all that down to sea level and maybe build a massive house later. But that's in the long term, that's not gonna happen. Now I don't have the resources. I do have a haste to beacon, so it'll be much easier. Yeah, that's, that's what I've done, mostly. So what happened with the beacon was basically I put two wither skeleton skulls in that cheese location under the bedrock portal in the end. Yeah, I put two wither skulls there in the per correct positioning, and then and then, and then Foodie Boy came along, and he put a third Wither Skeleton over there, and then beat the Wither, and then gave me the beacon, because two of the Skulls were mine. And then he said that I own a Wither Skeleton Skull, which I grinded for, and now I have one for him. And actually, I've been dying to try something out. I saw a video recently, you may or may not have seen it, but basically, what happens here is, uh, I don't know if this is gonna work, I really don't want to die, but I do have an elect- YES! What the heck? That's one of the coolest things I've ever done. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do that again. Um, did not know this was possible in Survivor Minecraft. It's the coolest thing ever. I can, I can fly without an elytra? I mean, damn. And no fall damage from like a million blocks away? Using a boat, out of all things? A boat? And I can, I can like fly? This, this is absolutely incredible. Anyway, what I wanted to do today was to get the rest of our armor up to netherite as well. And if you're wondering how I... And if you're wondering how I have full armor even though I have an elytra on, well, I have this data pack where basically if you throw your chest plate and your elytra onto an anvil, it's available on vanillatweaks.net. If you throw them on an anvil, they combine and you get all the enchantments. 
So basically my elytra has a chest plate inside of it, which I really, really believe should be possible in vanilla Minecraft because it makes no sense. You have to choose between elytra and chest plate. But then again, I mean, coming in from different perspectives, this is just what I feel like is best. Okay, so I'm gonna make my way down the same mine. I'll see you in a few minutes. Alright guys, so that mining session gave me 16 ancient debris, that should be enough for our pickaxe, our sword, our axe, and our main shovel. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick with the blast furnace that we made a few episodes ago. Okay, so we've got ourselves 16 netherite scrap and 16 gold ingots, that's gonna be 4 netherite ingots. So let's craft them up. Okay, 4 netherite ingots, that should be very helpful. Okay, full netherite. That feels much better. I feel much, much, much stronger now. Um, I hope you guys like the mining time lapse. It was a very long session. It was around 20 minutes long and I had to get some TNT as well. And my pickaxe almost broke midway through. I got 16 ancient debris. It's the same as last time. My plan for today is going to be to just terraform this island, bring it down to sea level like I did with that island over there. And it just feels right. I'm gonna make a storage system here and hopefully that will help us in the future. But we had a nice episode today. Uh, sorry for the delay again, but I hope you liked it. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.